castor oil is supposed to be one of the most effective methods to induce labor naturally at home, according to many scientific studies. But how fast does castor oil really work? Is it safe to apply? And if so, what is the recommended intake? Answers are coming up right after this. Hello mommy, we are Natalie and Matthias and we create videos which help you help yourself and your baby in the most natural way possible and backed by science. So if you like, you can now hit the subscribe button to get notified whenever we release a new video. Alright, so how fast does castor oil work? Well, in general, scientific studies have found that castor oil can help you go into labor within the first 24 hours after the oral intake of castor oil. In fact, Two studies have reported that between 54 and 58% of the women who did take castor oil went into labor within 24 hours, compared to only 4% of the women who did not take in castor oil. Mm -hmm. But it could be even faster. In fact, the scientists of another study report that the odds for you to go into labor not within 24 hours, but even within 12 hours after the intake of castor oil, are actually three times higher compared to when you do not take castor oil. That's right, but before you finish the bottle of castor oil all in one go, you should know the following. According to a study from 2018, there is one big factor which has a significant effect on both if castor oil will help a pregnant woman go into labor at all and also how fast it will work. Mm -hmm. That factor is whether a pregnant woman is primiparous or multiparous. Primi... puri... Huh? <laughs> What's that? Don't worry, it is not a disease. <laughs> As usual, scientists use super complicated words to describe very simple things, right? As always. Yeah, apparently makes them feel good. Yeah. Anyways, the difference is actually very simple. Primiparous women are pregnant women who are about to give birth to their first child. Multiparous women, on the other hand, are pregnant women who have given birth to at least one child in the past already. Now, according to the study, almost 50% of multiparous women went into labor within 12 hours after drinking the castor oil cocktail. A bit more than 60% went into labor within 24 hours and more than 70% went into labor within 48 hours. But what happened to the women who were pregnant with their first child? Well, only a bit more than 20% went into labor within 12 hours after taking the castor oil cocktail, a bit more than 30% went into labor within 24 hours, and about 40% went into labor within 48 hours. So you see, the whole discussion about if castor oil works and how fast it works could be related to that one question. Is a woman primiparous or multiparous? This means if you are about to give birth to your first child, there is a high probability that castor oil might not work for you. That's right, but don't give up just yet, because there may still be a way to increase your chances of going into labor thanks to castor oil and to even do it fast. Mm -hmm. And this also applies to multiparous women, by the way. Here is how. The problem with most tools to induce labor naturally at home is that they will only work if your body is ready to go into labor. And when we say ready to go into labor, what we really mean are two things. First, your cervix needs to be ripe, i.e. soft, so that it can dilate once labor has started. Mm -hmm. And second, the ability to go into labor requires your body to establish the right kind of hormonal balance. Right. And so the reason why so many women fail to induce themselves naturally at home, you know, despite trying all those things like castor oil and, and nipple stimulation and whatnot, mm -hmm. uh, is because their body is not ready to go into labor. Yep. They try pushing their body into labor before they have even helped it prepare for labor. Exactly. You know, it's like you're sending out applications to potential future employers although you haven't even started learning for your final exams, right? <laughs> nice comment. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it could work out, you know, but chances are much higher if you first pass your final exams. <laughs> and the same applies to inducing labor at home. Exactly. So if you really want to increase your chances of successfully inducing yourself naturally at home, you first need to prepare your body for labor right. using suitable tools like acupuncture or acupressure or other tools. And only then does it make sense to apply methods to actually induce labor with castor oil, for instance. And that's because now your body is ready to go into labor and so your chances of success are much higher. That's right. And that's exactly what so many scientific studies to date have found, right? Right. 
By the way, if you want to know more about which tools are suitable for labor preparation and which ones are suitable for labor induction, then check out the video that you can now see somewhere at the top of your screen. In that video, we teach you a complete action plan for natural labor preparation and induction. So we basically walk you through suitable tools that you can try if you want to reliably and safely induce labor at home and also how to apply them. Mm -hmm. Now, given that you have prepared your body for labor and given that you have made a decision together with your healthcare provider to try castor oil, the next question is, how safe is castor oil and are there any side effects? Well, in general, scientific studies to date have reported that the use of castor oil seems to be safe. In other words, scientists have not come across any major complications or adverse effects, neither on the mother nor the baby. But some scientists do claim that we need more research on this matter. However, one thing that almost every study has reported is that women feel nauseous after the intake yeah. of castor oil. And that is probably because castor oil is a laxative. Mm. In fact, next to nausea, it could also cause diarrhea and vomiting, as reported by several studies. Please do keep that in mind and ask yourself if that is really how you want to go into labor. Right. Okay, and finally, how much castor oil should you take in? Well, in most studies that we have found so far, women were given 60 milliliters of castor oil, either mixed with 200 milliliters of water or orange juice for oral intake. And they restricted it to that one dose only, right? In other words, if you take in castor oil and see that it does not work within 48 hours, please do not repeat the process. You are at a stage where you should not experiment with your body. Yeah. With that said, in any case, we strongly recommend that you talk with your healthcare provider about your plans mm -hmm. because they may know things about your pregnancy which not even you may be aware right. of. Therefore, they can help to evaluate if castor oil really is the right tool for you to induce labor naturally at home. And if they say, no, castor oil is not right for you, don't worry. There are other things that you can try. That's right. So if you want to know which tools can help you prepare and induce labor naturally at home, then check out the video that you can now see on the screen. It teaches you a complete action plan for natural labor preparation and induction, including all relevant tools and how to apply them. Moreover, we also tell you exactly what to do if you need to induce labor right now. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos from us about pregnancy-related topics. On top of that, we are also here for you once your baby is born, mm -hmm. because we regularly release videos about natural treatments to help your baby with typical baby-related issues. Right. Thanks so much for watching this video, and if you have found it helpful, consider leaving us a like if, if you, you like. like.